everyone and welcome to my book haul. Today's video will be my June and July book haul. Now, a couple months ago I had my birthday and I received quite a number of gift cards from quite a number of amazing people. So, I bought books and I think I got 12 of them. So let's just get into my book haul because 12 books is a lot of books to talk about. <clears throat> so first off, I got, I purchased Jane Austen's Emma and Bronte's uh, The Tenant of Walkfell Hall, Charlotte Bronte's Jane Eyre, and since I bought three of them, it was buy three, get one free, so I picked up Dread Nation by Justina Ireland. I've heard a lot of good things about this book, so I can't wait to read it. And of course, you know that I really want to, I've read this one already, and I really want to get to these. As you can see, I tried starting this one as a buddy read. I didn't get to the second uh, bookmark is where I was supposed to be, and that's as far as I got. So we'll start this another month. This one is on my books that I have to read by the end of the year. So perfect. Then I also picked up The Rise uh, by Ellen Goodlett. And this is the second book to Rule. And Rule left out, left me hanging on a cliffhanger. And I need to get to this one and find out what happened. Because yes, I am one of those people that if you tell me something and it's like a spoiler-ish thing and you don't want to spoil anything, guess who wants to know? I do. I don't like cliffhangers. I do, but I don't. Because now I have to read this book. And with that one, I picked up Ari Shaw and the End of Time by Roshni Chokshki. Sorry if I pronounce that wrong because it's early in the morning. And yeah, that's what it is. But I've heard a lot of good things about this. I don't know too much about it because I don't want to, but I've heard a lot of people saying that this is a really amazing book, so I can't wait to read this. <clears throat> then, oopsies, then I picked up, or I received, The Silhouette um, by William Ray Middleton Jr. And this is a book that Nikki has been raving about. And um, the author sent it to me for a review, which I'm going to be doing soon because I cannot wait to read this book. I've heard so, so many good things about it that I really, really need to read it. And really, look at that cover. Does that not draw you in? It drew me in and the story is even better. Then um, last month, was it May or June? Um, Charlie over at Charlie Brook had a giveaway for her 100 videos. I'll link that video below. And she did a live show when I was at work and unfortunately I didn't get to see it. But she picked the winner and guess who won? I did. Yay, I was so excited. I got all these uh, text messages and all these uh, DMs and everything from people saying that I won and I was so excited. So these are the books that I picked out. Uh, the Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I have never read a Margaret Atwood book. Isn't that terrible? I have never read a Margaret Atwood book. Like, where have I been? I stood beside Margaret Atwood once when I was volunteering at um, a book festival, but have never read her book. Never. I need to change that. I'm picking up The Handmaid's Tale. I also picked up The House with Chicken Legs uh, by Sophie Anderson. I've been wanting to read this for such a long time. And so I finally picked it up and look at that cover. Look at that cover. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So I cannot wait. I know 
Charlie, Nikki, and Emily all love this book, I believe. I know for sure Charlie and em and Nikki did. I think Emily's read it. If I'm not mistaken. Sorry, Emily, if I am, but yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to read this. And those were the two ones that I picked out. And then Charlie said, "But Linda, you can you can get another book." So she picked one out for me, and that was Inside Out and Back Again by. Vanna Lay. Sorry, this is another beautiful cover. And this one is all told in verse. And since Charlie got me into books in verse from a uh, long way down, it's just fitting that she would pick this one out for me. And I had been interested in reading it as well. So I'm so, so, so excited to read them. But thank you so much, Charlie. It was incredible to win your giveaway. And I'm so excited. Also, I picked up two more books, which are the last books for this haul, and they're by the same author and part of a series. And of course, I blame Nikki, because every time she does a review on a book, I need to pick up the book. But this is going to be a lot of fun, and I'm going to enjoy this. And it is The Frame Up and The Queen Con by Megan Scott Mullen. Cannot wait. She talks so so much about these books and how they're her absolute favorite and that uh, the author is one of her favorite authors and I cannot wait to read these. Nikki, once I read these we need to speak about them. We need to talk about them. We need to gush about them. I will DM you when I'm done. <laughs> Those were all the books that um, I picked up in June and July. So that was a birthday haul, I guess. And yeah, I mean, 12 books, that's a lot of books. If you've read any of them, please comment below. I would love to hear what you thought of them. Which book do you think I should start with? Comment that below as well. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more content from me, please press the subscribe button and the bell icon, and I will see you the next time.